Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. So, Sunday is one of the nights I go live to talk about my fitness journey and what I have coming up for the week. So, I just finished my second round of Lift 4 as well as my second week of um, MBF. So I'm usually doing two workouts at the same time. Hello, hello, hello. I'm usually doing two different workouts at the same time because me and my husband don't send to see eye to eye on programs. So I'm usually doing something with him and doing something with myself, me, myself, and I, and my channel group. So MBF is what I am doing with my girls. And um, we just fit it again, just finished my second round of the four. Tomorrow we are starting, we're going to at least do four weeks of the prep for two weeks just to get an idea for what the workouts are like before we start six weeks of the work. Um, gotta say I'm a little nervous. I did do his sample workout, Amalia's sample workout, and loved it. It was amazing. I really liked it for Summit Workout Week. Um, but we're gonna see how the style goes and see how I like it. So, um, Tomorrow is going to be a leg day and an upper body day, so it's gonna be good. And, um, you know, as I shared, I lost 3.4 pounds my first week of um, MBF. I'm not sure what I've lost in my second. I do, maybe it's gonna be a pound or two. Um, obviously, not the same as the first week because I'm building muscle and a lot of it was water weight, um, salt, bloating, that kind of stuff. Um, my bloating is actually okay this week. Um, I really, really dialed it in. Um, the family had pasta tonight. I actually just had veggies because I just felt like I needed to just have a crap load of veggies for dinner. Um, and I'm still having gluten and dairy issues. So I just skipped that part of it. But, um, for the most part, my nutrition was pretty on point this week that if you haven't followed and followed me for very long, you will learn that I'm an emotional eater. Um, binging is a real thing for me. Um, Self-sabotage is a big thing for me. That's why I a lot of times I just keep the things that I want to binge on out of the house. But for some reason this morning, I really, really wanted cheddar sour cream chips, which I never really want them. So it was just a weird, random uh, need today, so I won't be getting those chips anymore. My daughter will be pretty upset, but um, there's other things that I can get that she likes. So, I, uh, just for me, if it's something that I know that I binge on, something I know I'm going to be tempted by, I just don't get it because I it's just, I can't fend off the temptation. And that's just me. That's a lot of people, though. If you're an emotional eater, if there's something that you know you just can't control yourself around, my biggest tip is don't have it in the house. Because even no matter how strong you try to be, if something's in your house that you absolutely love and you're in that mood to binge, you're going to binge. Um, working really, really, really hard to work on this, really do a lot of personal development, um, I'm finishing up stories that stick and then I'm going to read Alana's book, which is really, really gonna, um, focus on the mindset, emotional eating, that kind of stuff. And that's what I really, really need right now because, you know, I think I'm past it and then just something random comes up and I, and, and I binge. So really, really, really gonna be listening to the To Be Mindset videos again this week and really, really trying to dial it in. Actually, I think while well, I send out my uh, weekly email and post my met meal plans and stuff for my group, I think I'm actually going to watch a little bit of To Be Mindset on the TV um, because we do have the Beach Body On Demand up, up here. So I might start watching that now um, because I just, I just know I need to really, really dive back in. Um, for me, you know, I am certified in two different nutritional programs, to be mindset, which is really in intuitional eating. Um, I don't know, <laughs> um, intuition based eating, um, really focusing on separating the plate by percentages with your proteins, um, veggies and, um, high fiber, uh, 
fiber filled carbs. So I'm really, really going to dig in. Uh, ultimate portion fix. I go in and out of doing it. I did do time nutrition when I did 80 day obsession and got amazing results. But sometimes the containers just make me feel um, too dialed in. Like too many rules is, is hard for me. So I, it's just finding that happy medium. But I hope everybody else had a good week, had a great weekend. And tomorrow's a new Monday. So what are you doing for you?